Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and this is tutorial number 33 and in this tutorial we are going to take a look at some new tags that were made for uh, laying out websites in HTML5. Now um, I'm not sure if you guys would have heard about these tags before but I didn't explain uh, them in my previous tutorials because I was actually waiting right at, up until this moment uh, so that it would all make sense. But if you guys watched my div tutorial, so uh, my tutorial on divs, then you will know that a div tag is basically a big block that we can put on our web page and it doesn't make any visual changes to the website whatsoever unless we actually use CSS later on to style that div. Okay, so if I created a div um, and I actually put some content in here, then you know that content would look, look like normal content until I actually applied some styling rules to this div. Now the same thing applies to these new tags that we got in HTML5. They don't actually change the website in any way until we style them, so they're equivalent to a div tag, but they have more descriptive names because div could be anything. It could be any kind of section or any kind of block. But um, the guys at HTML5, or the guys um, who designed HTML5 rather, decided, well, hey, if you take a look at any website, so I'm gonna go over to my YouTube channel, but it doesn't really matter what website you look at, um, you're gonna see that pretty much all websites follow the same kind of pattern whenever they're, they get made, okay? So in this case, we've got YouTube over here, and at the top, we have a section over here where we've got a logo, some search bars, or a search bar, um, some buttons, you know, some links, whatever, but this is gonna be the same across every YouTube page you ever go to, um, you're gonna see this header, okay? And that's what this thing is, it's a header. Uh, same thing with Facebook, uh, you've got the Facebook logo, search bar, whatever, and Twitter, same thing there, Twitter logo, search bar, some links. Uh, so that would be your actual page header, and it doesn't change across all websites. So um, all websites have a page header, and the guys at HTML5 realized this and decided, well, hey, we can make a new tag called header, and whenever people are designing websites, they can use this header tag to uh, create their headers. And the advantage of that is now we as designers know, okay, well, header means that this is where my header is gonna be. So um, instead of using a div tag, you now have a tag with a more descriptive name, um, which is header, okay? And again, uh, another advantage to this would be that if you were using, um, or if you were trying to get ranked by a good search engine like Google, or um, I don't know if, you know, if you guys consider being a good search engine or not, but if you were trying to get ranked by one of those search engines, when those uh, search engines come and view your site, they can see that a header tag is on your website. So this obviously, this section contains a header. And um, yeah, like it just means that bots can understand your website better as well. So uh, that's one cool thing, we're using header. Now let's go over here and take a look at our next section, which is the navigation, okay? And, you know, all websites have a navigation. So YouTube, we actually have to click on the navigation to get it to show. Uh, Twitter, the navigation is actually like inside the header. Same thing with Facebook, um, inside the header. So um, we also got that tag, a new tag called nav, which stands for navigation. And this is whenever you want links to other pages, etc. you will put that in your navigation section or your nav tags. Okay, go back to YouTube over here. Um, you'll see we now have this big section in the middle over here. And uh, this is my channel. And it is pretty much the whole reason why you would come to this specific URL on YouTube is to see my channel. You can see the header or the navigation on any page, but you can only see my channel on 
this exact page right here. So the section is like the meat of that web page or that website. Uh, so yeah, well, web page would be a better word. So the section is basically the meat of why the user came to this exact URL. Okay. And, um, you know, that is called the main section or in YouTube or <laughs> HTML terms, the section tag. So in the section tag, that is where you're going to put your main content. Okay. Um, again, if we go back to YouTube now, let's take a look at the side section over here. And as you can see, this actually contains some more navigation, but it's also got some playlists and other information and some settings and whatnot. So um, this is a side section. And if you take a look at Facebook or Twitter, uh, you will also see that there's a side section across from all the main content. So pretty much all websites have a side section, whether they use it for nav or uh, whether they use it for ads or something like that. All websites seem to have a side section. So we got given that uh, as a tag called a side. And this is basically where you will put the less important stuff for your website, but you know, still kind of important like links or um, ads or something like that. So we have the aside section. Okay. Uh, other than the aside section, if we go back to YouTube here and scroll all the way down, we have this section at the bottom. And this is going to look the same across pretty much every single YouTube page. And that is YouTube's footer. Okay, same thing with Facebook, same thing with Twitter. If you scroll all the way down, um, they tend to update quite a lot or quite quickly. So the footer, like as soon as you scroll down to the footer, it just disappears and goes further down the page. But they do indeed have a page footer. Okay, and pretty much all websites you see nowadays will have a page footer. So um, let's go over here and just place in our footer tag and those are the new tags that we use in HTML5 to create our uh, website layouts. Okay, so I really hope this tutorial came in handy and don't forget to join me in the next tutorial where we are going to start learning how to actually uh, use these tags to create a website layout or a web page layout. So I will see you guys in the next video and until then, don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a comment, like or share this video. It's really going to help my channel grow. And I will see you guys next time.